What we're trying to show is that architecture is making quite a radical shift towards a more sustainable future. The main message we want visitors to take away is the importance of retrofit in achieving net zero targets. We're pleased to be partnering with Autodesk on this exhibition because we recognise that really BIM technologies are going to be so important in the design process as we have to measure operational energy and embodied carbon. And it's that technology that's going to enable us to make proper comparisons both between projects and to make sure that buildings in use actually perform in the way they've been designed. Renovation and retrofit is key to achieving our net zero goals. With renovation and retrofit, it starts often with reality capture. So you're going out using drones and photogrammetry or laser scanning LiDAR because the existing drawings don't exist and you need to understand the as-is of that building. Creating a building information model is the next step and then putting that in sight so it's real-world geolocation with all the buildings around it so you can start to run analysis like daylight that's coming in, the heat loads on that building, the energy that it's going to consume. And the software can then advise you to try and improve the performance of that building, be it through different glazing ratios, through different materials that you're going to put into that building, through different energy load demands that are going into that building, through the usage. We're really looking at how architects are innovating and making changes to the way that we design and build, either through new materials, new heat or energy sources, or just generally being more creative in the way that we specify materials in the first place. Reversible buildings means you're actually putting thought into the design to make sure that building at the end of its life has the ability to be taken apart in a way that you can access all the materials. We've been looking at some really great examples of existing buildings whose life has been prolonged and we're also going to be looking at some real innovation in how we can think about the actual lifespan of materials that go into construction and how buildings and the materials that make them up can be reused over time. People need to come and understand what can be done, how they can do it. We hope that lots of our members and architects will come along and they'll see some of the really great examples and learn from some of the innovations that they may be able to apply in their own practice. We really hope that this kind of project can help inspire new ways of architecture happening in the future. There is no more time. We need to renovate, we need to retrofit, we need to create reversible buildings and material banks, and we need to do it now.